The adult female breast is a rounded prominence that overlies the pectoral muscles of the anterior thoracic wall between the second and sixth ribs. It includes the mammary glands, which are situated in the fatty subcutaneous tissue, separated from the deep fascia of the pectoral muscles by a potential retromammary space. Each mammary gland consists of 15 to 20 milk-producing lobes. The glandular tissue and fat of the breast are supported by suspensory ligaments that extend between lobules and from ducts to the dermis of the overlying skin. Each lobe is drained by a lactiferous duct that opens onto the nipple. Lactation, the abundance of fat in the breast, the length of the suspensory ligaments, and the retromammary space are factors affecting the freedom of movement and position of the healthy breast on the anterior thoracic wall. To describe the location of breast tumors and cysts, each breast is divided into four quadrants, the axes of which intersect at the nipple. Carcinomas of the breast are malignant tumors, usually adenocarcinomas arising from epithelial cells of the lactiferous ducts, occurring most frequently in women. Malignant tumors tend to metastasize, disperse via the lymphatic system. Therefore, it is important to understand the lymphatic drainage of the breast, as it helps to predict the likely course of metastatic breast cancer cells. Cancerous interference with lymphatic drainage causes a buildup of lymph, lymphedema, and may result in swelling of the arm and breast. Obstruction of the superficial lymphatics may cause a peau d'orange or orange peel appearance of the skin, caused by dermal edema around deepened hair follicles. Tumors may also put increased traction on the suspensory ligaments, causing dimpling of the skin. Most lymphatic drainage of the breast is to the anterior group of axillary lymph nodes, making these a most common site for the initial metastasis of breast cancer. Recognizing the enlargement of axillary lymph nodes can enable early detection of breast cancer, so routine self-examination of the breast and axilla is a recommended practice. However, absence of enlarged axillary nodes does not rule out breast cancer, which may spread to other regional lymph nodes, such as the infra- and supraclavicular nodes, or pass via lymphatic vessels to the opposite breast or abdomen. Metastases may also occur through veins that drain blood from the breast, such as the posterior intercostal veins, which drain into the azygos system and internal vertebral venous plexus to reach the vertebrae, cranium, or brain. Cancer cells may also spread by contiguity, invasion of adjacent tissues. When the cancer has metastasized to the retromammary space or deep pectoral fascia posterior to the glandular tissue or to the interpectoral lymph nodes, the breast may lose mobility on the thoracic wall and elevate when the pectoral muscles contract, indicating advanced cancer of the breast. Breast cancer is less common in men and usually spreads to the pectoral fascia, pectoralis major and apical axillary lymph nodes and presents late when the cancer has advanced extensively. Mammography can be used to detect masses within the breast and guide surgeons in the removal of tumors, cysts, and abscesses. Mastectomy, now less commonly used, is the surgical procedure that removes the tumor and all or most of the tissue of the breast, usually followed by radiotherapy. Lumpectomy and quadrantectomy are more common procedures that remove only the tumor and surrounding tissues, usually followed by radiotherapy.